Hello, folks. It's me here, Soja Boy 87. Okay, I um got another drawing to draw and everything. I was thinking of drawing um, Jaden Yuki from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, the second series, but I was like, eh, I don't really want to draw it. So I'm gonna draw Ichigo from Bleach. There we go. Okay, so. I'm going to be doing this with uh, one co uh, Copic, my black, complete black one. It's black 100, if you see it. And then I got three different colors. I have different shades of orange, a few shades of, like, yellow and, like, um, brown for his eyes. And then I'm going to be using these colors here for his skin. Using uh, black, light brown, dark brown. Is this dark brown, light, lighter brown, light brown, and cream. Okay, so I'm just going to color over it and stuff like that. Um, you're supposed to usually start off um, with the lighter colors and then work from there. I'm getting a little something here so I can do my colors on. This is what I usually do. This is almost like my little template that I usually do. So, we have black, my dark brown, dark brown, this is my brown uh, umber, then this is a light brown, and my cream. Okay. I'm just getting everything together so that I can go in the same way. I'm just trying to see if I can find another, like, a light brown. Because that one brown that I have looks a little dark. I like using color pencils, you guys can tell. Color pencils, they never get old for me. So, okay. I'm going to start off. I'm going to start, um, I'm going to use only black when I need to, so I'm going to use my dark brown first. I'm only going to, towards the shadowy areas. I'm thinking of doing the shadows, um, light here, and then shadows over here. Sorry, I'm watching um, Family Guy too. <laughs> I like Family Guy. So, yep, I'm just going to do this little coloring here. It's not that hard to actually get the shading in and everything for the color. So, I mean, the darkest parts come first and everything. I'm doing a little differently than I normally do with the colors. Okay, and then shadow here. Work certain parts. That's gonna be darker. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with the lighter brown.
thing is that the whole entire point of this and everything is to work the actual color with the darker color to give it this natural tone. And then you have it flare out just a little bit from it. Just like that. There we go. There we go. And a little bit over here. Okay, and then if we go to the next color, which is a lighter brown. You'll do the same thing here. I'm not going to do as much with the lighter brown. I'm going to do as much of it because it's a light, light brown. Then I'll just go in a little bit with it, make it all blend in. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> you can't see me. Um, when I usually color and everything, my other hand doesn't really focus as much. Sorry if you didn't see that, but this is yeah, this is how I mostly do and everything. And then you get the cream color and go over it as well. And you start from the inside again, going out. Sharpener for this darn thing. And if something doesn't look right, and you're like, oh, that doesn't look like it's supposed to come out okay, like I said, you can always go back over it with more color pencil. That's the thing with color pencils, you can do so much with them. Don't try erasing, don't, no, never try erasing with color pencils unless it's really easy, I and mean, like it's right on the color where the white is. You can use a um, also tissue paper or toilet paper. Do the same exact thing. Then rub in the blend as well. And then see here again. I'm gonna go back with my dark brown. I don't think it's it should. It's not really balanced. I go back a little bit over. I'm going to go for a dark brown again.
Okay. Then I'm just gonna go with a black. Oh, that's the friend. I'm just gonna do in his shirt and everything. So that's mostly what I usually do with color, uh, color pencils and everything with the skin. I mean, um, you can do a lot of other different techniques and stuff. I just noticed. Um, I also found that, uh, learned this from Polera, one of the other um, manga artists on YouTube. I After I saw that person do it and everything, I started doing it a lot too as well. And... Um, what else was it? Um, I, I used it with that tutorial and everything. And I do other ways too as well. Instead of using dark and everything, I go light first, just like the Copic markers. And then, um, and then um, I start from light to dark and everything. So there's so many different ways you can do it. I like to, I like um, changing it up, experience and change, starting with new stuff and everything. There we go. But yeah, I'm starting to lose a little bit of time here and everything. I'm going to do this and everything, finish up the drawing and stuff, and then I'm going to do another video showing the finished piece and everything. So I will be up again. Love you guys. Mwah.